Stephen Marshall proved to be the man for the Liberals in 2018 to lead the party back to government after 16 long years in opposition. A massive thank you to the people of South Australia who have put their trust, their faith uh, in me. He entered Parliament as a relative political novice eight years earlier, joining a party room known for factional brawling. His rise was rapid, first becoming Isabel Redmond's deputy in 2012, before succeeding her as opposition leader less than five months later. I've been elected unanimously to lead the state Liberals. He faced a third term Labor government, led by Jay Wetherill at the 2014 election. The Liberals won 53% of the statewide two-party preferred vote, but still lost the election. There was also this now infamous gaffe the day before the poll. If people in South Australia want change, they want a better future, they want to grow our economy, then they need to vote Labor tomorrow. But electoral success finally came four years later. His new Liberal government reopened the Repat Hospital, fostered new industries and led the redevelopment of the old RAH site. Although a controversy over the country members' accommodation allowance saga cost ministers and senior office holders their jobs. But one thing came to define Mr Marshall's tenure, COVID-19. This is an extraordinary situation. I think we all... Uh, understand that we are in extraordinary times. Mr Marshall led SA through the height of the pandemic, earning praise for helping the state avoid the large outbreaks and long lockdowns which hit other parts of the country. But when the state reopened borders, Omicron arrived, bringing a surge in cases just months from the 2022 state election. That disruption plus pandemic fatigue and a Labor campaign targeted on health contributed to the Liberals being bundled from office after just one term. Never felt more positive, more positive about the future of this state than I do at the moment. A result that ended his tenure as the state's 46th Premier. Rory McLaren, ABC News. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an honour.